Yeah! Hey everybody, it's the program. We're on TV once again, once a day, every day. Turn on the machines. And live forever. It's Tuesday. And you know what that means, viewers, don't you? See it along with me here. It's the realest day of the week. We made it. You know, maybe I look forward to Tuesdays now. After I decided that how real it is. It's been probably a year of real Tuesdays. Tuesdays have been real the whole time. But it's like a year of acknowledging it, you know. The whole Tuesday being real thing. It's kind of like electricity. Whereas you think like, you know, some people are like, who invented electricity? This is like a, you got a question on the test. And the question says like, who invented electricity? And then, and uh, you know, this is like, you know, spoiler alert, but anybody seen Scream? And then they say like, if you answer, who, it's like, hello? Yes, hi, I wanna, or, let's see, like this, oh, where's the, I'm gonna find the other mic, oh. this one's working now, e yep, like this, uh, uh I, I wanna, wanna. <laughs> ring, it's like ring, 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 uh. ring, 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 Oh, hello? Hello. hello. Oh, hi. Who, who is this? Who, who, uh, hi, how are you? Are you calling me? I'm calling you. I know. I'm calling you. Hello? Yeah, yeah. Well, why? Who, who is this? I want to I wanna play a game. game. What, what kind of game? See who lives or dies! Ah, this is my scary game! Oh, I don't want to play this scary game. I, I, wanna, I, want, I just want to live and not play a game about living or dying. Can I just live and not have to play a game about whether or not I live and I can just live without having to win a game? No, you can't do that. You have to play this game to live now. Before you could just live, you were just able to live even if you didn't like want to play, play a game, game you don't want to have to play a game to live or die today you have to play a game oh i don't want to play a game can i just live no okay fine what's the game you answer this question or you die well that doesn't seem like a very fun game what happens if i win the game do you die no you just live or do you die and i don't and if you if you get to live then it's like nothing and then if you lose, you get to die. And it's like, that's not a very fun game. Usually in games, if you lose the game, then you, it's neutral and nothing happens. And if you win the game, then you get a prize. This is not that kind of game. This is a game where if you lose the game, then you die. And if you win the game, you get to be neutral and you don't have to do, you don't, you don't have to worry about dying anymore. You get to live forever. Yeah, you can't promise me to live forever. You're right about that, I can't. I'm just saying that kind of thing because I want to play this game and I want you to be invested in the game. And if uh, there's no positive consequences, if the only consequences of this game is that you die and at the end of the game is that you die and you, the other one is just a neutral, then what kind of game would this be? So I'm trying to make it a little bit funner for you now that I'm thinking about it. Maybe I didn't think about this game all the way through. Oh, you're right. Uh, don't, don't make me play this game. Why don't you give up? No! I gotta play the game. I put the lot of that and lose game, and now I wanna play it. All right, fine. Once again, answer this question or die. One question, huh? That's not that much of a game. I thought it would be a game. If it's a real game, then usually you know it involves some kind of rules or anything. No, just answer the question or die. That's the only part of this game. That's the only game that there is. Okay, what kind of question? What's what's the what's the question? What's the game? I'll play the game and I'll try to live just because I want to get this. this uh, I want to live. Who invented?
invented electricity. Benjamin Franklin. Wrong. Electricity was already invented, and nobody invented it. It was discovered. Oh no! Does that mean I'm gonna die? Yeah. Oh no! And then you get you die. Ah! Uh, I'm gonna die. So they died because the uh, electricity w is not invented. It already existed. It was like in uh, uh, lightning and like on Venus, I think there's electricity. If I'm trying to picture Venus, it's a big planet out there. It's got lots of gas. Uh, you know, it's maybe kind of green. And it's uh, there's acid everywhere, like lakes of acid and rocks. You know, aliens, there's worms, like some worms crawling around in the stuff, and, and there's lightning storms, just like constant lightning storms. <laughs> electricity on Venus, so it's like, if you, you know, if it's electricity, if things exist on other planets like electricity, then you need to invent them, you just discovered them. It seems like maybe you invented things. Maybe you can't invent anything, and that you're just discovering things, and you think you're inventing things, but are there real inventions, or are they just like discoveries can we actually truly invent anything or are these things like they're they're pre maybe they're predestined and then when you invent things you think you're inventing but you're just discovering and and maybe we've gone through this uh like cycle of life like as a as a species or as a as a like as a whole like li as like a planet as a life force as a as an entire life force that we're we're all one life force the whole, you know, worms and trees and bacteria and us as people, and we're all a life force, and we've all been through this in the past and created every invention ever made. Maybe last time it was fish, and now that we're like we're rediscovering all these inventions again and not inventing, but that might that might be true for all things, but it seems like that'd be weird if that were true for things like. Uh, you know, like the, like, like televisions, it's like, why would they, uh, I kind of invented the television, there was nothing there before, and now there's something there, like, or like maybe food, like a new food, you're like, I invented the, the, somebody who ever, whoever made bread, seems like bread is pretty uncommon, and how could you, how could, whoever invented bread, you're like I invented bread. It was slow. It was a slow process to invent bread, but you could do to have discovered bread. You're like, I discovered bread. If you put yeast and flour together, it seems so crazy. I don't know how they discovered bread in the first place. Anyway, that's like a whole like history lesson about bread. But I don't know how they made bread, and I don't know how to make. I don't know how to bring bread right now. Like if somebody were to give me all the stuff you need to make bread, like flour and water, yeast. Uh, I think that's about it, right? It should be like that's like bare minimum of, of bread, but maybe other stuff too, baking soda, whatever. I don't know. I wouldn't know how to do it. Thanks for inventing bread, though. I like bread. Um, did you invent bread? Did you discover bread? How long has bread? How long has bread been a thing? How long has uh, like other you know other things like that? What are we going to do today, viewers? Maybe we're going to take a look at the phones. Maybe we're going to make some phone calls, take a look at some tape stuff. I got some food. I got some water. I got some life. And I'm going to live it. I got to make sure that I, I get more water after this program. That's something I'm going to try to remember. I don't know how I'm going to remember... Because I don't think we're going to get this far in the replay uh, later on. But if we do view our future, if you see the replay and you see this part, remember, get water. Okay. Oh, oh good. I almost thought they forgot my fork. That would have been a tragedy. How am I supposed to eat without a fork? So I got this uh, Chinese food. I should get like a, a regular fork here. Take a fork to the studio. I have a studio fork, but then I gotta go wash it in like the, the sink in the in the restroom, which is a little bit weird. It's not that weird, I guess. The water. 
coming from outside the restroom. I don't really understand how water works, but I don't know how much of this water is coming from the the waste the waste place, like from the from the restroom to the waste cleaning, and then back here to the restroom again. But it's been clean. Maybe that waste cleaning water is cleaner than other water because it's like freshly freshly cleaned water. I don't want water that's been cleaned for a while. There's other things. If they're freshly cleaned, it's, it's nice. Like here. Here's a, a freshly pressed shirt. Oh, thank you. I'm going to wear this shirt right now. Here's some freshly cleaned water. It's like, what do you mean freshly cleaned? Where was it before? It was dirty water now. I cleaned it. How do you go about cleaning water anyway? It's like a liquid. Clean and dry things, that makes some sense, you yeah. Put liquid in it. And then you uh you know wash it. Put liquid on a thing. Rinse that liquid off, put more liquid on there, you dry it, and it's clean. But with the liquid, it's already dirty. Like, there's no... There's no cleaning it. Maybe they do, like, osmosis or something. And they filter it through a bunch of different kinds of rocks. Big rocks. Little rocks. Medium rock. Sand. Microscopic rocks. And then... Like pass it through some kind of sheet through osmosis or re reverse. They call, it, they call it reverse osmosis. So, it, I'm, if I'm right, I think osmosis is when you have like a sheet, like a semi permeable sheet. Like, let's just say, like. A towel. I don't know if this is right. Like a towel, and you like have the towel like somehow like connected in a container, like that's dividing the container in half. And there's like a towel barrier. So it's as if you have like maybe like something else with a like barrier in the middle of it, like a Tupperware or something. And there's a plastic barrier in the middle of the Tupperware. And there's two sides of the of the of the Tupperware. But instead of having a plastic barrier in the middle. You have some kind of cloth, like cheese, cheese cloth, or a towel. No, get me started on cheese cloth. What the heck is that? Oh, you make cheese with it. So with, you could use cheese cloth for this. So put the cheese cloth, or any kind of cloth, really. Can any cloth be cheese cloth, or has to be some kind of specific cloth? Because I don't know what the properties of cheese cloth that make it more like, like make it more valuable for holding things in and letting the water out, but. Cheese cloth seems like it's pretty good at that. I don't know how good it is as, as a filter. But you put your cheese cloth in there. And you pour all your water onto one side of the cheese cloth. Like there's there's cheese cloth in the middle of the container. And you have, it's a clean container though. You have semi saturated water. Like it has to have been filtered a good amount already and then you put the you pour all the water into one side and then slowly it goes to the other side through the cloth and to me that process is regular osmosis like osmosis jones you know is that what the movie's called What's that movie with Osmosis Jones? I think it's Chris Rock. I know that song. Osmosis Jones. Is that what this movie is called, Osmosis Jones, or is it has a um another title? Like it's not named after the main character of the show. I don't remember, but like I understand regular osmosis. But 
I don't understand how you reverse it. Might just be some like fancy name that I'm, I don't understand. Uh, let's take a look at the phones. You can call the number up there. The number is 360-836-4384 and you can call that number, leave a message and you can get your voice on TV. Let's see if anybody did that uh, since yesterday. Looks like they did. We got a few calls. Who was it? Mr. Ginsu? Oh, it's Dan Dobler and Mr. Ginsu, Yellowfellow and Bird. The regulars. They're calling. You know, they, we have this phone number up here every day. But none of the people who are uh, looking at this thing, none of them. None of them are, are doing this, this way, from the show. They're all just, oh, oh, calling from before. Hey, uh, how you doing? Real good. Uh, it's Monday. Monday. I'm at Burfoot County Park right now, and I'm looking at a really cool tree. And, uh, yeah, it's a little bit cloudy. But not a bad day, pretty nice. And uh, wondering what time you're taping the studio. Yep, yeah. and uh, all right. Yeah, well, I hope it's going well. And maybe I can see you. That would be lovely. Thank you. Bye. <laughs> I'm calling back, bro. This is what I'm gonna call you back. Here we go. Here's this one. Hey. Hey, Bert, it's the program. We're on TV. How are ya? I'm doing just fine. Doing great. Yeah, good, good. Yeah. <laughs> you, uh... You yeah, make, how are you doing? Oh, real, real good. Thanks for asking. You make it back from the park? Good. Um, yeah. Did I make it back from the park? You haven't been at the park for two days? Or whatever? No, no, haven't been at the park. No, no. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. The park, super high tide. Yeah. Was it, was it like extra high? I heard that the moon, the moon is weird this month or something. Yeah, it's at the closest point in its uh, orbit to the Earth. Like, in how long or what? The like closest point? Like how how often does it do that? Annual. The it it's uh kind of runs on an oval. So it's um, at some points it's closer than others. I think there's two times during the year that it's at the closest, and maybe and you know. So that's I don't know. Maybe there's one time. It's biannual, I maybe. I think it's yeah. I think it's the. Uh, I think it's one time it's at its closest, and then another time it's at its furthest. So. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I'm watching Apollo 13 right now, the movie, interestingly, speaking mm -hmm. of the moon. Which part are you at? Tides, gravity. Oh, they, um, they're in the, the lander module, and it's very cold, so they can see their breath. They gotta, they gotta go around the dark side of the moon to, to make it, to, like, slingshot around? Is that it? Yeah, they they're doing they did the gravity slingshot and now they're on their way back. Yeah. So, I guess it's real. Hopefully they'll make it. I I want to now I want to think yeah. about it. I, I want to look it up like the real 
the real people. I wonder if there's, there's got to be like some kind of documentary about the real event. Yeah. It's a good movie. It's true. I, I've taped over a lot of them. Yeah. What? Popular. How Tom you, Hanks is a good actor. You how know? are you watching it on VH? Got a good soundtrack. Video? Kevin Bacon. A few. There's a few other uh, really good actors in there. Uh, Bill Pullman. Uh, it's on Netflix. Oh, it is. Oh, I gotta watch that one. Huh? Bill. Yeah. Bill Pullman. You know. Yeah. Right. Oh, say again, Bill. Bill, Tom Bill Pullman. Bill. That's his name, right? The guy. The other guy. Is he like the football coach kind of guy? Yeah, kind of fo football coach kind of guy. He's like the other astronaut. Or, yeah. Or, or there are three yeah. of them. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Or Paxton. Bill Paxton. Is that his name? Okay, you know, yeah. You know what I'm talking about? Is it ba Yeah, is that sounds right. It's Paxton, yeah. right? Bill Paxton? <laughs> yeah, well, there's several strong performances. It probably won some awards. Yeah. Is that Ron, Ron H Howard? Right? Is that the... I think that's right, yeah. Yeah, space is crazy. Yeah. It's a good... Maybe, yeah, it is. I don't know if it's a good time to go to the moon when it's uh, so close. Yeah, well, you know, we're on spaceship Earth. Like, the planet is, like, basically in space, you know? Yeah. We're just... We're pretty much flying through space on a big spaceship that is our planet. Pretty yeah. cool. It's a good time to go there. I gotta make more, maybe instead of, they're making all these spaceships and making them look like, uh, oh yeah, like, robots. Like airplanes or something, but maybe they should make spaceships look like planets with some trees. Yeah. You know, put some trees yeah. on a circle yeah. and then send yeah. that out. With giant, like, gravity rings like uh some of those movies you know that yeah. for the long term space travel you have spinning rings so you have some some gravity some there. gravity some trees and stuff yeah off, yeah you know? i mean that's a pretty a pretty major engineer feat of engineering there yeah um yeah, I saw the uh, the biodomes, the Amazon biodomes are opening up probably this month. And they look pretty awesome. Like, Somebody told me that they're going to have... Amazon, the company? Uh, a specimen. Amazon, yeah. They're building these biodomes. It's like three dome-shaped buildings that are all kind of connected. They're like bubbles. Yeah. And they're going to have a specimen of every tree that's indigenous to North America in there. Why? Um, it's like a greenhouse, basically. A giant greenhouse, and people are going to have, they're going to be conferences in there and everything. So, so Amazon is just like I move? guess maybe, maybe they'll have three different, like, climates, you know, in there or something, you know? Amazon is just like such a wealthy company, I, they're moving on to weird, just being weird? Yeah, apparently they have enough money to buy a specimen of every type of tree from around North America and plant it well, you know? Yeah. Apparently they're, you know, hopefully they'll be that seems getting weird. along well. It's like, at the, it's an unnatural, you know, at the, at the zoo, it's like you got polar bears and like flamingos. They shouldn't be right next to each other. It's not how it works, but they are penguins, penguins, and flamingo, yeah. penguins and flamingos, like in this, like within like half a mile of each other. And yeah. it seems like you have to like create such extreme climate changes, like in in a in a localized area that that would, you know, use a lot of resources. It's true. It's like if you want to see all these trees, yeah. they're supposed well, to be separate. It'll be an interesting place to visit and see, though. Is that going to be in Seattle? Yes. And they, yeah. have they, they started it's yet? On Lenore, Lenora Street in between 6th and 7th Avenue. It's, it's built? Yeah, it's built. 
I mean, there there's a lot of other building going on nearby there, but the domes are up, and they're the all, and they're going to be open <clears throat> like in the next couple weeks or so. How many domes do they have? What I hear. Well, it's kind of one structure, but there's three sort of different parts of the domes. It's like a triple dome. Only three? Seems like you would need, like, like uh, lots of domes to create every kind of climate that there is in the country. Or in the... So no, no, yeah, that's true. no, uh, no African trees or European trees, just only native North America trees, huh? Yeah. Yeah, because some trees are very, um, you know, sensitive to the environment, like, you know, aspens in Colorado, and then you got uh, maybe some really warm trees from uh, Florida and stuff like that. Yeah. They have different trees in Europe? Have you, ever, have you ever been to Europe? Never been to Europe. Haven't been. Me neither. No. I don't want to go, but I wonder if they have different trees. You know, the tree, the trees that are out at Evergreen, those maples, yeah. those are native to Europe. Oh, yeah, and then they, yeah. they, they planted them over here? Yeah, they, they got them from over there. They're able to go. They're, they're, they're pretty adaptable. Yep. Yeah. Oh. Similar enough, you know, temperate climate. Yeah. As long as the, you know, temperatures are in the right range. Trees. I've ever tried to, I never tried to plant a tree. Maybe I should. Go plant a tree. Um, we're mm -hmm. gonna, yeah, you want to get here on the program in person soon? I think... Tomorrow the show's gonna be at 9:30. It's gonna be at 9:30 for a while, and then maybe you're gonna wait till it's the during the daytime, right? Um, yeah, maybe Friday. Friday might work. I think Friday is probably gonna be. Oh, well, I don't know, nighttime too. Maybe it might be. Is there? I don't know. I've been doing. I've been doing before the show. Or, I mean, I've been doing in the morning sometimes too. Like maybe like, like 10 a.m. I've been doing 10 a.m. or 9:30 p.m. on these days. So. I'm not sure. Okay. Well, I can I can keep calling in too and try to get get there. Maybe tomorrow. That way. Maybe tomorrow. Hey, tomorrow's gonna be ten. Been talking to Mr. Gin, Mr. Ginsu and Yellow Fellow. Yeah, they both called today and left messages uh, along with you. I haven't called them back yet. How's Yellow Fellow? Yellow Fellow's doing just fine. He's up there in Philadelphia. He. He. Uh, he met okay, he met like some random girl in a park. And oh. they got they got together really fast, in my opinion. It was within like a week they were living together. Oh my gosh. And then she was doing <laughs> hard drugs and cheating on him. Oh my goodness. That's that what sounds he said. Bad. And then he ended up moving back out only after a little bit of time. Well, good for him for putting an end to that. Yeah, because you don't know you don't know yeah. people that well. well I wonder everything on the production end. Uh, the production end is going well, as far as I know. We're uh, yeah. Well, right now I think we're about one or two days behind on YouTube. If you, I don't know if you noticed, you keep a track of YouTube. Are you a subscriber? I am, yeah. I got a notification of one today. Maybe it had the letter W in it, but I can't remember exactly. Yeah, the Wrangler. But the Wrangler, I think, was maybe uh, Sunday or even Saturday. So I think we're behind a little uh -huh. bit on YouTube. I've been doing YouTube every single day, so now if we're behind by like two days, it's behind. Because it used to be YouTube yeah. YouTube was like just like weeks behind all the time, but now it's like only days, and now it's like easier to fall behind because behind is only a day. Yeah. 
Well, I think you're doing a good job. Thank you. I'm going to have to get another machine to, like, because right now, like, the capture device and the the video compressor device, it's the same device. Mm -hmm. It's the same device, so I can either be cap... Maybe you need... Yeah. Maybe you need a new a new uh, machine, you know, and uh, maybe some donations. Yeah, give me a dollar. Uh, purchase some give, new equipment. Give me a dollar, viewers. To run them. Yeah. Yeah, if every viewer gave, you know, a certain amount, then you'd have enough to pay an intern a stipend and buy some new equipment. Yeah. Give me a dollar, but I don't know. The computer, I can get the equipment for not much. It's not like a... It doesn't wouldn't take a heck of a lot of computing power to do just the compression. Like even like an older computer could do that. So maybe I just go if I could just go pick one up at a uh, yeah pick one up at a thrift store for like five dollars and then it could do the job. It might take a while, but it would it would do it. So maybe and I don't need the money. I think I just need need more of the the effort and the time is the thing. The second machine's not the the fun yeah. thing. Yeah. All right. Well, hey, Bird, you got uh, you, you you see anything on the streets? Or you got anything else you want to say? I got nothing else. Just keep up the good work. Thanks for being there. Thanks for calling. Thanks for talking Thanks to us for today. For doing what you do. Yeah. Uh, maybe Thank we'll, you. Maybe we'll Thanks see you calling. here. Maybe we'll see you here soon. Thank you. Yes. Okay. Definitely. Okay. Bye. Bye. That was Bird. Thanks, Bird, on the phone. Bird's on the phone. Uh, we got more messages, too. Let's look at the next one. It's like Dan Dobler. Here's, here's Dan Dobler. And then Yellowfellow. I don't think Yellowfellow's going to answer today, so I don't. I think Dan Dobler will be fast. Yellowfellow won't answer. And Mr. Ginsu, I think he will answer and talk to us for a while, so we have... Hi, good evening. So, we we have a whole show uh like lined up now okay now I'm, I'm closing all these things close 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 oh yeah there's yellow fellow saying weird things beep 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 beep, beep. what what mr ginsu here we go let's call yellow fellow back beep 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 beep, beep. oh no dan dobler we're gonna call dan dobler first and then yellow fellow and then uh, do some the, the Mr. Listen to the Mr. Ginsu message and do some tape stuff, and then call Mr. Ginsu back. And I think that might that might get us through the day. Hello. Hey, Dan. Uh, I, I, was, I was just gonna call you. Oh yeah. Well, did you have the phone out to call? It was. You had the phone out to call me, and then I called you. No, no, that's okay. You, you, you called me. Yeah, how are you? Fine. I, 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 I'm doing fine. Good. What are you What are you doing? You watching TV? I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm relaxing on my couch and, and I'm listening to music. Oh, yeah? Uh, uh, records? Uh, Netflix. Uh, uh, Netflix. Uh, on, on, on the computer. Oh, that's good. Dan, I got you some records. I, I'm going to give them to you, some of those vinyls, because you got that vinyl player now. Yeah. I got a couple of uh, Beatles records. Uh, what, uh, how, how, how's the, the, the winter? How's 2018 for you, Dan? Did you have a good New Year? Are you having a good New Year? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Is it new? Is it different? What are you going to yeah, do? Yeah. What, what, what are you, you going to do this year? Um, me and me and Patrick are going to, are going to San Francisco. That's good. You go. You've gone what a couple of years in a row now, right? That's going to be like the third or fourth year. Uh, it's the second time I've been, I've been there. Good. Uh, second time. A second time. Good. That's good, Dan. You're going to go get some more like books, right? That's what you like to do. Uh, we want to visit the Christmas temple. The Christmas temple. Yeah, they don't have one of those around here. 
And then, and then they have one there in, in Berkeley, in Berkeley. Yeah. Is that... What do they what do they do at the temple? Do they have a priest and stuff and like, like... Uh, they, they chant our they they chant our our greeting our 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 they chant our 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 greeting our is that what the Beatles were into? Yeah, they, 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 they were into it. Yeah, is that is that where you heard of it? Because I know that they were into that stuff. Yeah. And, I, I I don't. Uh, uh, remember that song, my, my sweet lord, my, my sweet lord? Yeah. And, 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 and they were chanting our, our Krishna on that, on that record. Wow, yeah, because I remember they played the sitar, too. Yeah, I know. I know. Yeah. That's good. They're, they're, I saw I saw, I saw, I saw, them, I saw them. Yeah, in the, in the 60s, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, before that was before they're into Hare Krishna though. Yeah. Yeah, they were just like regular. You saw them when they were young. You must have seen them on their first couple of tours, sir. Huh? Um. Yeah. 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 They're probably young. Yeah, what well, uh, she's trying to make a movie still? She, she, she's sleeping right now. She's sleeping right now. That's good. It's nighttime. She's sleeping. That's good that she's sleeping because she's getting some rest. Because all the time I remember she goes into some kind of mania states, you know. So, uh, I, I talk to you later. All right, thanks, Jim. Bye. Don't don't go into mania states. This yellow fellow. Look out for mania. Hello. Hey, yellow fellow. You're there. I didn't think hey. you'd be there tonight. I'm there tonight. How are you? I'm here. Uh, I'm here. How are you? How are you? I'm, I'm good. I'm good too. <laughs> wow. Nine. What is it, nine? What is nine o'clock? Nine o'clock or ten for me? About ten, eleven, almost eleven. Ten, almost eleven. Yeah. What are you doing? Yeah. I'm walking around. Outside. Yeah. Like, is it is it uh, safe? I don't know. I'm in Center City. Just by yourself? It's just probably wa- safe. Are you wandering or 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 are you you're going somewhere? Wan- wandering. Wandering. You're just wandering. Is that what you just like? Get you have your headphones on? I do. Do you hear the sirens? No. Wait, see if you can listen. See if you can hear them. Listen. Mm, I heard them. You hear them? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They yeah. come from me. Oh, well, yeah? What'd you do? Uh, <laughs> I'd rather not go into it. Do you, are you sick? Me? Yeah. Why, do I got the, do I got the sniffles? Yeah, well, or you call the ambulance. Oh, oh, oh. Am I sick-minded? Is that what you mean? No, like... Oh, oh, oh. No, oh, oh, isn't that like a... I thought that was like a police siren. Maybe that... Oh, that's, oh that actually might be a fire... Uh, fireman. Yeah, I don't know what a it is. big fireman. Just call, call, call the ambulance. And then you're like, I, help, I need help. And then they show up and they say, Where, where, where? What do you need help? And you say, I have the sniffles. <laughs> that's a good one. Uh-huh. Should I do it right now on the show? Yeah. I'll, I'll like, uh, that should be a new feature of the show, prank calling, um, uh, like, the police and uh, firemen uh, and the ambulances and stuff. Abusing the emergency system? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, what do you think? Yeah, good idea. Thanks. Like, you know what I'm walking past right now? What? Um,. I don't know if it's true, but my friend told me that this establishment is a place, a massage place, but people actually go in there and they fuck. Yeah, uh, it's a, a brothel. Yeah. A house of ill repute. And a, a house of what? Ill repute. Yeah, I guess that's what you call it. Yeah. What's it called? 
Huh? What's it called? Uh, I don't know. It doesn't no, have an address, but it, from the looks of it, I believe it. It no, doesn't even say massage. It just it looks like an establishment. It just has its address, and that's like it. Yeah. It has like blacked out windows and shit. You know, I don't, I don't understand how places like that stay open, honestly. Yeah, it's underground. Do you, you know, have you ever heard of the the Green River Killer? It's what? The green the Green River Killer. The Green River Killer. Yeah. No, what's that? Well. In Seattle, there was this serial killer, and yeah. his, his, they caught him, and his name was Gary Ridgway, and before he was caught, they called him the Green River Killer, yeah. and he was killing, like, I don't know, tons and tons of prostitutes in the Seattle area, okay. and I, I go to Seattle, and I look around on the streets, I've never even seen a prostitute. <laughs> yeah, well, I guess people have got... Well, I think people have that, like, image of what that is. It's like somebody on the corner, you know? But yeah. I guess it's not always that way anymore. It's like, where, how do you uh, even, how, do, how does a, you even, like, see them? Uh, I definitely saw some in L.A. when I went down there on the tour. I was like, look, 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 it's a real prostitute. Did you get their eyes at? I'm kind of freaked out because I'm just sitting in this, like, alley in this car that's just, like, Sitting in the distance, they're like not even driving down the street. They're just shining their lights on me. All right, now they're driving by. What the fuck are they doing now? It's being really weird. Um, you think they're gonna uh, kidnap you and take you take you to that uh, brothel and make you a a, I don't a, know. a slave? Now they're just parked right next to me, and I uh, can't see the one back. What the fuck was that? Hopefully. That was really weird. Okay. They're gonna. Now he's driving away. They're gonna kidnap you, and we're gonna call you. We're gonna call you in a few days, and you're gonna say, "How are you?" And you say, "I'm a prostitute now." Uh, yeah. Like I got kid. Uh, I got kidnapped. I'm being, and... Yeah, I'm being human trafficked around. <laughs> Did you guys try to save me? Uh, I don't know. Maybe it'll be. Maybe you'd like it. What if, like, for some reason, the only number that like, my friend would pick up on? Like, I had a phone I was, like, hiding from them. Yeah. And, like, the only number I could contact with you guys for some reason. Like, my phone got damaged by, like, water or something. Yeah. And I could only call you guys. Would you guys help me out? You're like, help me. And I'm like, I want to see where this goes. What? I wouldn't want to. I want to see. You, you say, help me. Call the police. And I would say, I don't want to intervene because I want to see where this is going to go and how you're going to escape. Well, I mean, I'll tell you exactly where I was. And then you could call the police, right? Yeah. I guess we could call the police on. We'd have to do it on the show. It would have to be on the show. Like, off hours, you wouldn't give it your time. It would yeah. just be like a feature of the show. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And then, I feel like this is becoming a dark episode. It's dark. It's nighttime. Yeah. What time is it there? It's like It's seven only eight. about 7 or almost 8 o'clock, yeah. I'm, um, I don't normally have nights like this. But, um, I had a full day of just doing deliveries, and I was so tired, I didn't feel like going home and then getting beer at home and drinking it there. I just wanted to get beer and drink it right away. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just wandering around. Uh, and I guess this is illegal, too. I'm always trying to do these illegal things. I'm trying to drink in public, and it's working for the most part. What, do you have a do you have a, a concealed glass or something or whatever uh, like a? Well, I'm, I'm I got a six pack, and um, I find these alleys, and uh, I crack it open, drink some, and then pour the rest into my Coke bottle, and uh, that only works so well because the foam gets really foamy when I pour it in the bottle. Is this um, is this like reg is it dark beer? No, it's like um it's like a PBR type of beer. Oh uh, yeah, but you can tell. I mean, that's not co that doesn't look like Coke. I know, but it's better than walking around drinking out of a fucking can of beer. Yeah, like, no one's gonna be like, all right, like no one's gonna say, hey, that Coke looks like piss. Um, <laughs> Maybe the pol they'll just think I'm the police. At, at that point, though, at that point, I don't think anyone cares. Yeah, I think it's fine. Like uh, they, the police probably don't even care as long as you're being kind of discreet. Right. Exactly. That's what I'm saying. Like. I'm being kind of discreet. Yeah. They got more... They got a lot on their plate. I think there's a lot of cars. I feel like there's, like, something going out. Going on. 
I think people are like scoping out this alley or something. And I'm just kind of sitting here. Something's gonna uh, happen in the alley. Yeah, I see cars that are just like stopping by. Where I'm are like, you? Are you in like the red light district or something? Is that like what? Hmm? You're like in like a scary the, alleys. The, the red light. Oh yeah. I'm not in the best part. Of, uh, I'm not in the best part of town, so I should probably hightail my way out of here. Yeah, another creepy car just kind of going by slowly. Yeah. All right, I should probably get out of here. Wouldn't you say so? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Did you wander there? Is it close to you where you live, or you're like in the crossover to another neighborhood? No, I'm just in Center City. I'm in Center City right now. So. That, yeah. That's like a a, a borough or something. A bureau. A bur they call them boroughs in New York City. It's a borough. Um, I don't know what they call them in Philly, but that's like a part of Philly center city. It's like a little city within the city. Like, oh, oh, maybe. Oh. Like Manhattan, or something, or Brooklyn. Um. Oh, I see what you're saying. Oh, we don't really have that in Philly because it's like it's just like a big. I don't know. Philly's kind of like a small city, so. Um, like there's pockets, different neighborhoods, but there's not as many as like other cities like you're talking about. But yeah, I'm getting the fuck out of here. Um, this is really weird. Oh, I think I know what's going on. Okay. I say, all right, now I'm seeing this guy. He's driving his car slowly next to this place. And I think what I just saw him doing was I think I saw him trying to scoop it out. He, um, he heard the prostitutes? What's that? The prostitute place? Yeah, holy shit. Now I'm just gonna, I'm gonna watch from a distance because I think this, uh, it is an old man too. I think this old man's going to, uh, going to visit some lady of the night here. It's uh, like rumors. It's like a, maybe he, he heard the rumors too. What's that? He heard the rumors too. The rumors? The rumors about the prostitutes. Oh, yeah. Um, damn. Uh, places like that must be crawling with diseases. You know, like, how do people feel safe to do that? Yeah. I don't get it. I wouldn't, I wouldn't, <laughs> I wouldn't feel comfortable <laughs> would with a prostitute. A prostitute. <laughs> yeah. It's it like, oh my god. Like, that, that woman has, if, if she's like, it doesn't matter what age she is. Like, if, even if she's a year into the business, imagine how many different people she's been with. It's just, it's mind-blowing. Yeah. And it's, uh, I don't know. I mean, it depends on your moral code, I guess. But I feel like it's impossible to not think it's, like, just incredibly sad. Yeah, it seems kind of sad. And it doesn't seem, it doesn't seem like a lot of fun to me either. I would just be, yeah, I would be more sad than aroused. Right? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, maybe there's a moment where you're, like, overtaken, and you're just like, oh, it's so awesome, blah, blah, blah. But then you'd probably be, like, you'd probably, like, awaken from everything and be like, Jesus Christ, what kind of person am I? Yeah, what <laughs> you know? kind of a person am I? <laughs> maybe you're going to, yeah, I would, I would, like, I, I, I would, you know, be, I don't know how I would end up in the situation in the first place, but then, you know, maybe at some point I'd be like, I need to s save this person <laughs> instead of, Going, and now then, I gotta live. I have to live with myself after this. Yeah, and then you're gonna yeah. go become like a vigilante, trying to like, like a, like a taxi, become Batman, taxi driver. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, that's a. Yeah, that's an interesting movie. Yeah. Um, yeah. I, I really, what, like, when I went into it knowing it was like this classic movie, um, not knowing what to expect, and uh, I mean, I expected, I had some sort of idea for what it was, but. What I ended up seeing was not what I had in mind, like, at all. Um, that's a crazy movie. Yeah, it is. Uh, like, what do you just take away? Like, that guy's just, like, this incredibly unstable person who has, like, a warped sense of what's right and wrong, but mostly means well? Like, I don't get it. Like, because when he, like, he just brings that, like, woman to, like, that porno place. Remember? Um, I don't remember at all, but... Uh, I don't. I don't. I don't. I, don't I, I. I. haven't seen that in many years. But I think that it's. Uh, yeah, it's definitely like he's an anti-hero or something. So he's like he's like trying to do. I mean, but he's um, he's kind of an anti-hero, but he kind of isn't because he. Yeah, I don't know. 
Because he saves that girl at the end, you know? Yeah. He's doing he's doing yeah. good things. But Maybe he should. You should always just call the authorities or something. Don't try to take. Be a good boy. Don't, don't take justice in your own hands. Let the police handle that. But the, but the police are evil. Yeah. Maybe I think that you know they're in some sense they're messing with the with with like a. Uh, uh, maybe they're racist or something. The police. Yeah. No. There's no. Yeah. No. I was just. I was joking. Yeah. I was like, didn't you get the memo? Cut to Vermont. Yeah, Dude, yeah. Like, I'm, I'm, I'm drunk. <laughs> yeah. I don't, I don't know if you've noticed. What's that like? Are you wobbling? Um, you having okay? You, can you walk? I'm wobbling. I, I really want to go to this. I told you about Wawa, haven't I? Yes. Yeah, I really want to go into this Wawa, but I'm here all the time. And I think these people think I'm a loser. Uh, and maybe <laughs> maybe they wouldn't be wrong. <laughs> What are you winning? <laughs> what? What are you trying to win? What are you th- I didn't say I'm trying to win anything. Well, what are you, a loser? Like, you're a winner? Like, there's winners and losers? Uh, yeah. I'm just saying, like... Yeah. God damn it. I, I'm eating at this place every day, pretty much. Uh, but it's so easy. I can go in there. They have places I can charge my phone. I can warm up. Do they... I like... <laughs> do they give you an order? Do they? Do they... Do you order the same thing? Um, I always try to mix it up. I mean, the food, it's getting a bit old, but it's like, uh, I don't know. I feel I've, like I'm like an old man that goes to McDonald's every morning. You know how that's a thing? Well, I've, I've, I actually do know about that because I've run into this problem because there's this Burger King that I frequent, and they actually know me there now, and I don't like it. <laughs> I don't like it. You don't like it? Because, uh, yeah, because they, 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 like, Say, oh, you getting the thing? Like you getting the same old thing? And they they know me. To, like, I make conversation. Yeah, yeah, well, they yeah. I walk into Burger King, and now they don't even. They just like this. They, I get I, I like I get the Whopper Junior. You like the Whopper Junior? Yeah, I go in there and I say like uh, and then they just say, oh hey, Whopper Junior, right? <laughs> I'm like, yeah. <laughs> they don't make fun. Oh, it's the Whopper Junior boy. They don't do that. They um, don't say that. Some some of them do, but I I'm you know uh, off the off the show, I think, or even maybe on the show, I'm kind of off-putting. You know, you're off. You're not personable. I'm not that personable on off the show, and so people they don't want to they don't necessarily want to say things to me. I see that. I like maybe slightly grumpyish. Yeah. Um. I I think I I tend to uh. I vary in between being like a nice, personable guy and being like a Future. dickhead. Um, it all depends. Oh, um, oh yeah. Because uh, apparently I was being a huge dick when I was drunk the other night at some party. And, uh, uh, I think I talked to you. Uh, you were, there was a uh, like with your cousins and stuff. Oh. No, not with my cousin. Oh. Uh-huh. But, but I don't know. It's I, I don't really have. Uh, I can't really gauge myself from like. Um, I can't really stand off. Uh, I'm not. Uh, I'm gonna stop. <laughs> this train of thought is going nowhere. I'm gonna record. Uh, I'm gonna record the message of the future. Okay. You were on the one from yesterday. Hey, um, future! It's us, the past. It's the past future. It's the past future. Yellow fellow is uh, walking, walking around the, the bad part of town. I'm a prostitute now. All right, bye, future. <laughs> bye, future. Oh, oops. I, I hung up on him. Instead, oh, I pressed stop on the. I pressed stop on the wrong thing. You hung up on me. I pressed stop. I, I hung up on you instead of stopping the message to the future. <laughs> I said like. I, like uh, I was like, I bye, future. I said bye, I bye, future, and then I hung up on you instead of stopping the message recording. Whoa, does that mean I'm the future? Yeah, but I actually do have I'm to call. Pro- there's, there's only a few minutes left, and I have to call Mr. Ginsu, so I'm gonna hang up though. All right. So thanks for talking right, to bye us bye. today. Keep calling. Bye. Yeah, yeah. Bye, bye. All right. We we're gonna call Mr. Ginsu. We're gonna run out of time. Oh, and Dan Dobler tried to call us back too. Oh wow. Uh. 
I'm gonna get all the stuff go. Oh, go and we gotta look, look at this thing. I uh, I said a lot of things. Maybe I said too many things earlier, and we didn't get through all the calls. Holy fuck! Here's the latest of the news that I've heard. Yeah, here's the about, commercial. About the oil company that my mom don't own no more. So her sister her from her, her piece from her. Yeah, hey, it's the commercial. All the wells, except for this one particular well, which made all the money. We uh, have a problem we fixing that. Oh, we talked a little bit about but, this dice game. Um, she was semi, sort of, under the impression she right, owned the company or something. Oh, wow. We're going uh, to run out, run out, run out, run out of time. This doesn't always happen. Alright, we're gonna call Mr. Ginsu even though we're doing this. I talked a lot about that, uh, something. Oh, getting the water, I remember the replay thing. And, um, what was the other thing? That guy's in the snow. What's going down? Hey, Mr. Ginsu, how are ya? Yep, yep, yep. Oh, is it? Oh, yeah. It's almost Martin. Tomorrow's Martin Luther King Day. We only have, we only have like a, a minute today. I, I called you at the end of the show. I get it. I get it. What's going down besides that? Pretty there? No, nobody's here. We're talking on the phone. To Yellowfellow and Dan Dobler and Bird, and we got a lot of calls, so we're making them, getting through them. And you called at the end, and now we're calling you at the end. What did Dan have to say for himself? Dan is, uh, he's really, he said he's relaxing and watching Netflix. He's, and, uh, uh, what else? He's, he's going he's gonna to go to San Francisco, he said. Uh, he's, he's planning on doing it. Yellow, yellow fellow. Yeah, oh yeah, Bird's watching Apollo 13, and Yellow fellow is walking around, uh, the bad part of town in Philadelphia. Oh. <laughs> Hey, it's the end. It's the show's. It's the end of the show. That's the end of the show. <laughs> yeah, I called you the. For the I got you on the credits, sir. But uh, I didn't. I was. I was listening to your message, and then I ran out of time, so we had to call you before we could even listen to the end of it. I see. But we'll listen to the rest of it. Maybe we'll call you tomorrow. Uh, I don't work tomorrow, so. Oh, you don't? Oh, good. Well, we'll call you. Maybe, I don't know when it's going to be. We're on TCTV Channel 22 at 11.30 and 2 a.m. You got Are a you sure? You got a day off? Yeah. You're, ba you're back from vacation? 360 Yeah, I'm back from vacation, but now I got another day off. How's, how's, how's not... Like, how's getting out of the house? Is it good? 109th State Avenue. Uh, I suppose. It's probably healthy. Decent. Yeah, Graham Graham. I'm working on my mom's house. It's a good song. TCTV, the baby. Yeah, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's not square, yeah, right? Yeah, Dirty Fabulous. Grand Grand yeah, yeah, yeah. Not yet. It's coming up right now. House is not square, huh? Your mom's house. Hell yeah, dog. Hell yeah, dog. Oh. Bye. Oh, oh, oh. Take it easy.